Ali radiallahu an said something. He said that when you take one step towards the dunya, towards this world, it takes two steps to get away from you. And death takes two steps to catch up to you. So do the math. Which one is going to catch who first? You taking one step, dunya is taking two to get away from you. Never catch it. And death is taking two behind you. It's going to catch you before you even get close to the dunya. The dunya is getting farther, your death is getting closer. Our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he drew two lines in the sand, one farther than the other. He said that the, the farther line away from him, where he said this is man's desire. This is his hopes and his dreams and his wishes. But the shorter line is his death. And he will surely run into that line before he ever runs into the other one. This is just the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want this dunya? Do you want it? Yeah, I want it. We all want to not have to worry about things. Then run away from it. I know that sounds so ludicrous. Run away from it. And I don't mean, I don't mean quit your job and, 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 and uh, uh, don't work and make, think that Allah is going to support you while you go and do khuruj every other weekend and eat dal and all this other stuff and think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just going to just magically send a check in the mail. It doesn't work like that. We still have to work. Allah has commanded the, the, the man to work and be the caretaker of his home. Don't think I'm saying that. But what I mean by run away from it is don't care about it. Don't care about this dunya. Put it in the back burner. And what I mean by put in the back burner and have the akhirah is your focus. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا That indeed in the Messenger of Allah for you is a beautiful example. لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرَةِ وَذَكْرُ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا For whoever's mind, whoever's vision, their hope is in Allah and the last day. And they remember Allah much. So a Muslim should always, their focus, their vision, their hope should be on the Day of Judgment. And I'm going to talk about that tomorrow, vision. How we need to have a vision going forward in this movement of Islam. This new revitalization of Islamic thought in the Muslims of America and the rest of the world. We'll talk about that tomorrow insha'Allah ta'ala. But what you need to be looking at when you wake up in the morning is Akhirah. Because when we think of Akhirah, most of the time if people tell you Day of Judgment or, or Yawm Al-Akhirah, we think of something long way off. Oh SubhanAllah man, that's whew, Day of Judgment man. Whew. I'm not worried about that right now, man. I got to be at work in like 45 minutes. <laughs> You're talking about the day of judgment. I got to catch the bus, Akhi. Who guaranteed you your day of judgment might, doesn't start today? Who guaranteed you that your day of judgment is not going to start tonight? What do I mean by that? I mean that your death come to you. Who's promised you another second in this life? No one. And when death comes to you, that's the beginning of your akhirah. That is your last day. Because that's the time when all of your deeds 